Hi everyone and welcome for today's video. Isn't that lavender beautiful? Doesn't it make you feel like summer is back again? Watching outside a window it is pretty grey and rainy, a bit of snowy sometimes, but it's still too warm here to get snow overall. So I thought about why not starting this video with this filmed in summer sequence from our terrace. <laughs> We so much love lavender and the smell of it and the fact that it attracts bees and bumblebees so much. Uh, we just love them. So I hope you do too and I hope you enjoyed this intro sequence of this video. In fact the video itself has nothing to do with summer, it is basically about an incident. Something that happened to me not long ago. As some of you might know when you follow my videos regularly, we have recently moved our apartment and this involved a lot of packing. A lot of moving things around and a lot of rearranging things, especially when it comes to my art stuff. And when I stored all my canvases, and it's a lot of canvases, on my boards to make them fit to the entire room, not standing everywhere, something bad happened. I still had some things laying around on my floor and they fell over. They dropped to the ground and a couple of them just got ripped apart. So some got holes, some got cuts inside the fabric and I actually was thinking about what I can do with them. Because I normally do not want to just throw them away because it would feel like wasting something. I was pretty sure from the beginning that I can never make any painting on them when it comes to oil painting or acrylic painting in general because it I will never get this fabric tight again to withstand everything that I put on there. But I knew I could use resin because if you have a bumpy underground the resin will self level and everything will be fine. And this video demonstration will be about how I fixed one of my canvases and there will be another one where I fixed another canvas <laughs> and made a resin painting out of it. But first things first. <laughs> I had a round canvas with a triangle cut into there and I unwrapped it and used the strongest tape that I had available and taped it together. I stretched the ripped apart piece to the still intact piece and glued everything to the surface as good as I can because I wanted the canvas to stretch as much as I can, because the next step involved adding some water to both sides. Adding the water will actually stretch the canvas and tighten up everything. If your tape is not as strong as it can be, your fabric will just tear the tape away and you w it won't be any good for you. So for me it helped using the duct tape or T-Rex tape, but also I use for my resin pieces to seal the edges, so this worked pretty nice. And when the water was applied, I used the heat gun or a hair dryer, whatever you have available, and just dried everything. So the fabric was tight again, and then I used some acrylic paint just as a base layer paint to seal the entire surface and to a bit more connect both of these areas. And this overall worked pretty well. I know this wasn't super exciting, but perhaps you had some broken canvases lying around as well and was not sure how to fix this. And this is an easy going step to fix it. I also had some rest amount of resin from another piece, so I added this over the already dried area then, just to give it more strength and stability and let it dry until the next day to start with the actual resin project that I was going to make with this piece. The resin that I'm going to use here is the Mastercast resin and the pigments that I'm using are from Resonate, which is an opaque black, a gold pigment, a metallic blue pigment and some blue glitter from just for you Online UK to give it a bit more sparkle in the end. I just used some blue glitter, I did not add any glitter to the gold. Before I even mixed up my resin, I taped the canvas. So I used the very same tape that I used to fix the canvas and put a thin layer around the edges just to have everything sealed tight and therefore preventing the resin from flowing over the edges. The good thing with this T-Rex tape or duct tape is that it is pretty sticky, it sticks to whatever surface and you can peel it off from the resin once everything is dry. Or you can also peel it off already before the resin is dry but very gooey and not moving anymore. So this is actually what I did with this piece here because when you leave the tape on and let the resin cure we'll have this lip towards the resin which we have to file down in the end. But when you remove it just right in time before the resin really settles and cures, it flows 
a bit over the edges, but not really much because it's so sticky and gooey already. So this is a really nice method of having a clean edge and not this lip in the end. When my resin and the pigments and colors were mixed, it was actually just thinking about the design that I wanted to have. I had nothing really special in mind, but the end result is really fun to look at. It reminded me on a dragon, like in Mortal Kombat or something. It really was interesting to see what came out as a result. Basically what I wanted to try here is testing out the heat gain that I'm having, because I still do not have the feeling to actually really have a hang for it, to know how it works, how it behaves, and as this is one of the first times I'm working with the Mastercast resin, I still do not know how it behaves in general. So this is a fun and testing experiment, trying to fix a canvas and getting a sweet result out of it. And for my taste, I really really like the end result, and I hope you agree with me. When I added the colors, I started off with the black and spread it around the most part of the canvas and afterwards added the blue, because I wanted this blue to interlace a bit with the black, perhaps forming some cells, if these two colors are able to form cells after all. And then afterwards I just added the gold to the areas that I thought will need some gold. When everything was on there, I just used the heat gun and heated up everything, moved the colors around a bit and also tried to achieve some cells in the gold and the black, as well as in the gold and the blues. It was not as selling up as I wanted it to have, as I expected it perhaps, but I really liked the look that the gold paint achieved, because this gold pigments always achieve this 3D look when it comes to resin, because some of the pigments just sink to the ground, some stay on top of it, and I just love the result. When it comes to the ribbon of gold that I poured onto the left edge, it was a bit jaggedy, so it wasn't really a straight line, as I actually hoped to achieve, but in retrospect it is really cool that it was like this, so that zigzag line, because this really looks like the tail of the dragon in the end. The larger portion of the gold which I put to the more or less right part and middle part of it, look like the head and the neck of the dragon. I hope you can see it, if not, tell me what you can see in this piece, or if you just look at it and see it what it is, like colors and shapes. Just let me know in the comments what you think about it, how you like it, and how you like this result. I am pretty much happy how it turned out in the end, and that I was able to use the canvas, although it was broken in the beginning. I'm glad that I stopped myself in throwing it away and thinking about the entire thing for a couple more seconds to give it a chance and to see if I can fix it and make it at least sealed or tight sealed to have nothing flow through it and that I can use it for another project. So this is something I just wanted to share with you to encourage you if something goes unplanned and probably breaks along the go, see what you can make of it, see how you can fix it, or how you can use it perhaps for a project that was not even in your thoughts in the beginning. And to share your experience with the others, please make sure to leave a comment down in the comment box what you have experienced perhaps already, what you have tried to fix, what you have fixed, what you figured out works great, just yeah, to spread the knowledge, you know. I would really love to hear what you probably came up with in the past and how you fixed some issues that you came across on the go. If you like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, also subscribe to my channel to not miss out any of the new videos. Therefore, please also click the bell icon to get notified when I upload something. Materials and social media, as usual, are linked below in the video description. And I would really appreciate if you could share this video with everyone who might want to see it, it really would mean a lot to me and helps my channel grow. So thank you again for your time, thank you for watching, and other than that, I hope to see you in my next videos. Have a great day, bye bye!